Well, here we are again, down my house. It's just now 10 p.m. The boys are snuggled in bed, and it's Shirley. We just heard Santa's sleighs or jingle bells going around the house, and there's been uh, Hurley and Sis drop in for the evening, and Dale and Margie. Hurley, what do you think of this Christmas? You having a pretty good time? I'm having a good time, Carl, and uh, I think that uh, this machine you have here to record uh, things like you did this afternoon of your whole family, I think that's wonderful, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it uh, in later years, uh, even as early as next year when you play this back. And, uh, of course, it's custom to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, but I'm going to wish you a little more luck than that come about March. And I hope you don't have to spend that full 21 months in there. If you have to spend 21, I hope it's just a few days more than 21 and get back here to West Virginia. I'd kind of like to come back here and stay myself. I think that's all I have to say. That's fine, Hurley. That's a wonderful speech. I'm hoping I don't have to spend any more than 21 months, too. Hey, sis, how about you? You look like you're <laughs> having Mike fright or something. Okay. Well, I am having Mike fright, but uh, I think Hurley said about everything that there was to say. So it's been a nice Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody tomorrow. That's all. Okay, sis, that's very nice. Margie, you want to say something tonight? Oh, come on. Say something. Well, I can say tonight that I am full of turkey and all the trimming, and I hope we all have a very nice Christmas tomorrow. Okay, Margie, that's fine. Man, what's shaking your head about? <laughs> No, Come on, say something. Him. Did you hear Santa Claus tonight? I heard Santa Claus tonight, and I sure hope he comes to see me. Okay. <laughs> Dale? Yes. Did you hear the jingle bells tonight? Yes, I heard the jingle bells tonight. For three years in a row, I've heard the jingle bells, and I'd like to hear them several years more. I don't know. I... Uh, Remember years ago, Carl, when you and I were kids coming along, we heard these jingle bells then. And it was the longest time before we could really decide definitely that it was Santa Claus. And to this day, I still think that it was Santa Claus. And now that Richie and Willie... I've also heard the jingle bells, and I finally have gone to bed and gone to sleep. I'm sure Santa Claus will give them many, many wonderful presents, and I hope that he don't forget to leave me one. Margie, will you leave me a present along with the one that Santa Claus is going to leave me? But in all seriousness, I hope everybody has a very, very Merry Christmas, and that we can all be together many, many more Christmases in the future. I didn't mean to make this a political speech by any means or a long-winded job, but it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I'm trying to run out your tape for you, Carl, if you don't mind. So a very, a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't know whether you'd run down yet or not. <laughs> Well, I think that's very good, Dale. I think we'll still have the jingle bells ringing. Shirley won't be a year old till February the 6th. So she's got a long ways to go yet. Even though the boys are getting a little skeptical, I think in later years they'll realize that there is really a Santa Claus. <laughs> 